welcome back and in today's tutorial we will be looking uh, on one of the feature which got released means we can say we which got stabilized in cubic and which is quite prominent feature i really liked it which is ui builder okay so what is ui builder okay let's go through it then we will uh, we will i'm also exploring ui builder for the first time okay so let's try to create one prototype out of it uh, we will try to understand how the ui builder works what is the importance and what is the power of ui builder okay in service now and we will take one example after that okay so let's see what is ui builder so let's go to the document and try to understand what ui builder is okay so according to the docs now experience ui builder it's like it is a web user interface builder use ui builder to build page for csm configurable workspace app engine studio generated workspace and portal or custom web experiences that's pretty good then they have given one video they have given ui builder is not yet capable of building or configuring out of the box service portal like employee service man yeah but in the next coming release right um probably they will be taking over this also okay so key features key features are create pages for workplace or portal experience create a variant of page what is variant create variant of page to target experience for different users okay so now uh, one page can act different in a different way for different user based on certain criteria okay use a full library of components so they have component it's simply like a wordpress kind of thing uh, it seems to me for now okay uh, connect data to your component okay layouts fine okay so i have read something about the ui builder okay and let's try it out so in today's tutorial what we'll be do doing um we will be let's let's try to think what we'll be doing so oh i was working on this so what we'll be doing we'll be creating one page let's call it as page 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 one okay which will have menu okay and based on the selection of menu we will be getting the list of records okay and you can consider it as like um, company table company menu where we will be getting the menu to filter out the companies based on certain criteria then based on that filter we will get list of records okay of companies and based on that record if we click on one of the record we should get the form for the same okay um so this will be the page two for instance okay so let's try to build this prototype okay so let's start uh, as you know this is the service now instance um, everyone knows about this right this is the first page this is a home page when you log into the personal instance right now how to move to the ui builder so to to navigate to ui builder simply type in filter navigator ui builder you can find it easily on the cubic if your system is on cubic version if you click on this okay ui builder you will see this screen so this is the home screen for ui builder okay as you can see there are few so basically the page which we call right the ui page is called as experience because experience uh, so you can say aes catalog builder is one experience table builder is another experience based workflow so this is out of the box experience which has created so experience is nothing but a uh, home page okay why it's called an experience because it can be uh, combined with number of component acting differently who are providing different functionality like dashboards and all that okay and it's a experience for the user right what kind of experience we are throwing to the user so that's why it called as experience so these are the out of the box things i have not created any experience till now these are the help going through this only i got certain ideas key how the ui builder acts but uh, yeah so let's let's start okay so um let's create a new experience okay so i will create a new experience i'm also doing it for the first time so just bear with me so here we can see ux application so let's create one for ourselves okay so i will click on new 
okay a new experience let's give it a title like uh, let's take company only okay so it's pretty slow so i will give it a name mm, company okay and then what else we have to do there is a app shell ui so in app shell ui let's see what's the Mm -hmm. app shell ui is basically macro component definition right so we will uh, it will provide some pre-built functionality when we uh, select this component right so let's for for the demo purpose let's start it from the scratch okay so i will go with ux sub blank app shell okay then we have to give url so we will give master let's give master details okay now this is done uh, on the page side let's keep it as blank only let's see if there is something on it i'm just exploring all the things out table builder so these have few app shell uis which i've already created right let's keep it as is now on the admin panel right this is quite important one so on admin panel let's select so here it's like uh, ux app configuration okay which we have selected over here and uh, document okay so document we have to create and now build a configurations right okay based on this configuration all the things work so let's create a new one for the demo purpose okay let's give it a name as um, company sorry company details okay mm, let's make it as landing path let's keep it as home okay and i can i will not add any other thing okay i'll say submit so it got selected okay i will give okay okay so now the ux application we have filled all the information i don't think any other thing is remaining so let's save it out okay let's submit why to save so now we can see we can see the component ux application over here right which has a path of master slash details right so let's go to our ui builder experience and let's refresh it out so probably after setting up the application right now we should be able to see our application over here our experience over here we have just created a new experience we have just configured the new experience and as you can see boom we can see a new experience called company okay which has uh, just created right now it has url like master slash details app shell ddd 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 whatever okay now we don't need this okay now let's click on this let's work on this experience now okay so i clicked on that experience okay and it this is the ui which pops up okay let's see what what all is there so it's pages components and nothing right on menu we can create page okay developer variant and all the things variant i think it will come in and there is always an help icon so you it will route you to the documentation part okay so let's create a page so we'll create a page let's give it a name we'll give it as home let's give it as home page for now uh, as you can see based on the selection means home page a path got generated okay this is a path okay master it is such home page okay and in template you can use this these are the template these are the pre-built template okay so if you uh, use any temp template every template has its own significance uh, they have certain components which we which gives some out of the work functionality so you can simply plug and play right but as we are learning right so let's not select any 
component let's keep it as none okay so you can see over here what are page template page templates are predefined pages that can be customized to fit your needs okay you can choose to reference or copy the template okay fine scope is global let's create it out so the ui seems to be pretty amazing for me okay i really liked it so now the page got created now what it's asking is like your page has been created we also create your first page variant for you okay which will be the default one in future you can create multiple variant variants is like experience for the user based on certain roles right okay rules not roles okay yeah roles can be considered into roles so for page to target connect content to specific audience such as agents or managers whatever it is before you starting start adding content okay you can apply this advanced settings to your page variant. i don't want for the first page we don't want any variant it will be like maybe in coming tutorials we will focus on the same okay so we have page and variants in page it's like asking do we need any parameters right for the first page we don't need any parameters you can see over here in the first page we are planning to put a menu and based on menu this will be the filter item but for the second page probably we will need okay because on the second page uh, we will be uh, pulling the information from the item which got selected right so let's see so right now we don't need okay there are two types of attributes one is required and the second is optional we don't need any of them okay let's proceed so this is done this is how our page looks like and if you have ever used wordpress okay um, i don't know if you have ever used wordpress so in wordpress um this is this is how it's kind of similar we can't say it's exactly similar but it's kind of similar to wordpress okay now you can see at the top you have a url okay url is like now master details home page okay and you can see a small button called open if you click on this it will open a page for you your current page so this will be the url for your page it's now master it will act like a base url and over that we have added a home page right so it's showing no content available contact service because we have not added anything okay so let's first let's target on this so we want to build this the page one right so for that you can see on the content we have body right if i click on the body it should show me the say layout so it's like we need two containers right menu and list so if you click on the body you will see this layout okay so which layout will fit us the best i think this one okay so i will click this out so here we'll be adding a menu and here we'll be adding what we call a list perfect okay so i this is fine okay if i do add component now over here so now what we are focusing now we have selected a layout now let's focus on one one thing at a time okay so on left side we need list menu right so let's go here let's try to find something like list what is there in list 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 related list simple okay let's menu okay so let's select this list menu over here so we have selected the list menu over here and as you can see let me just manage it. if i can manage this thing out can't i resize let me okay now it looks pretty good now it's perfect okay i just zoomed out so as you can see i just selected the list menu and based on my selection this all these things got popped up okay so what is this this is basically because the configuration the default configuration is on task table and it will give 
um all the task related component like incident problem and the default modules which are defined in this application right which has given so we'll be changing it out okay let's see how it goes and also on the right side right on the right side so i selected component from here you can also select the component from here now we got the list but now what we need is we need list okay so let's select list over here okay so let's see how it works so now as this is also default configuration this is also default configuration okay so what default configuration does is like keep um it's on the task table you can see right list so it has thrown all the um task records okay in the form of list okay we'll be changing it out so let's focus on the menu first okay first of all let's fix the menu so let's we will be doing our all our stupid things on companies did i made a mistake sorry okay companies so if we go to the company these are the list of companies okay so we will try to put some filters on companies only okay so let's go back let's go to list menu so you can see there is a default configuration right over here so on default configuration click on this configuration okay now here we have options so if i click on this to 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 ah configuration right right now it's default only see if i click it should allow me to edit right why it's not allowing me to edit okay sorry sorry i am also I, as i told i am doing it for the first time right so here the default configuration is there right now selected so we have to define our own configuration right so you can see at the bottom there is a tab called configuration so you have to click on this configuration and it will lead to the list of configuration so yeah, as you can see here you can see there is a configuration called default configuration we will create a new configuration okay so let's give it a name company okay let's save it out now under this when we save it out let's we will be like oh uh, we got two related list one is ux list category and then ux list so first of all we have to define the ux list category according to what right okay let's click on ux list category we will give name company list company list category i don't know what name i should i will give company list category and configurations to 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 mm, order should be order is mandatory so this should be the first one right so i will give it as zero only okay let's now your configuration let's see what's there oh so this is a con configuration which is, so it's default set okay so we have just defined company list category i will save it out so now we have defined it out now if you have ux list over here okay so how it works i will tell you okay this is pretty confusing for me also for the first time so on, under company you have you have to define ux list category now we have just defined it. under ux list category we have to define ux list okay so you can either go from the ux list category or you can go via the list let's go it from here to 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 
so we will give company list let's give it as order at zero if we want it to execute first now category we have defined right so let's select that only company list category if you are going through company list category record itself this field will be auto populated now here we have to define key what exactly we are trying to do okay so first of all it's asking us for the table okay so let's go over here come on bear with me what is name for company table it's go company right perfect let's take so here you can define what a list you want okay you can put the filter you can select the table you can put the filter and define the menu for the same so first of all let's go with the go company we will select the table and configuration condition we will we will not put you can also define dynamically the columns required okay so i will not define any condition for this and on column what exactly we want we want company name company city mm, what else with company country because country will be the driving factor for us right what else if you want to go crazy you can add longitude and latitude also but i don't want to go for that and i will go for fax and phone and postal zip let's take postal zip okay let's submit it out okay so as you can see the first company list called generated so let's rename it okay this is not so here we will be giving all the companies right so let's give it a name as all All company P A N Y. Okay. I'll save. Okay. Let's try to do in certain stay if we have an option because yeah we have in certain stay. So first of all we got companies all companies. Now let's for the companies in U S A only. Okay. So, do we have any companies in USA? Yeah, USA country. Show me. So, out of 178, we have 62 companies in USA. Okay, great. So, let's get that then. So, let's create the second list. I will give USA company. Okay. This will be the same co will be adding a filter over here. So it will be country country is oh it's not a reference with great so it's not a reference field. I'm pretty impressed. So, company is USA. And let's do insert and stay. Let's define one more. Uh, I will really like rest of the world okay because we are considering all the other companies then so, so i will just do it as companies not yes right in certain state so if i go over here and if i refresh it out now we should have three usa all company and rest of the world okay so for all company we have not added any filter okay so here you if we go company we have menu 
we have all companies we have usa company we have not usa company okay so this is how we have built let's try sorry i went to my screen recorder okay so now this is done now coming back to our page now we have defined a configuration right okay so let's first save this page out okay whatever we have built till now and uh, here if i remove this filter so now i can see the company filter also yeah configuration also okay so let's select the company okay and uh, yeah it's pretty much done oh yeah let's see if it works perfect now all you as you can see we have defined components called company rest of the world and usa company right but still it's showing us um task record right on the list view now how to change this right this is fine let's try to see how the page is looking right now okay if i go over here ui builder is pretty powerful right it's pretty amazing so it's taking time to proceed so now you can see we have three sections this looks pretty amazing yeah but now what we'll try to do based on this filter the red data should get reflected on this page on this list okay so now we are done with this particular component okay now let's move to the list one now let's screw the list one okay now here you can see the currently the table is task okay that's why it's showing all the task record right over here so let's change it out can we change it out so here you can see a database icon right okay it's like dynamic you can see it's showing dynamic data load loading right so we need dynamic data right so let's click on this actually let we click on this we got this context right so here we are looking for data from a list menu right so we it's a table right so we are looking for table over here so it's like if you scroll down it's like an element elements is like the elements which are in the uh, layout so it's like elements list one menu okay fine and here table so let's select this so now as soon as i selected it now you can see it it's quickly within few seconds it's dumped the data from the company table okay pretty amazing okay now what we want to do we want to build we want to what we call oh mark this filters over here okay so first of all title is all active tasks are they all active task okay no so let i find companies i will give find companies okay perfect so you can see the title got changed to find companies right now list now we have filter okay now we want filter right so let's give the filter again we will go to the database whatever dynamic value you want to pull you can this is called as crop uh, cross component mapping okay so we are taking the values from one component and mapping it to another component perfect so let's click on this why oh, it's not working okay it's like active let's search something so we need first again list menu but now 
we need we don't need columns we need conditions right so let's have conditions so what it will do it will fetch the data from this and it will bind it over here okay based on the filter because we are taking this filters and we are putting out over here, over here and by default it has taken some we have not taken the street right so by default it's taking this columns out of the core company table okay now if we want that column should also be aligned with the uh, with the column which we have selected in the company list table right F company list configuration right so you can select the view you can select the columns also so if you can go columns okay again it's the same element list menu one now we need column let's try to find column here we go so we got column now okay if i say select on column we got column so now it will show name city country zip code how we have selected over here okay if i if i click oops 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 did i okay okay it's there fine okay so now i think let's do maximum rows 20 we can let it be like this sharing button hide title hide record badge yeah you, there are some configuration okay you can do hide panel buttons quick edit all these things again okay. um they have given pretty all the options okay you can simply toggle from here and select yes or no whether you want this or not okay so you can try it out okay for now let me save this up okay and fingers crossed let's see if it helps if it works the way, way we thought right so over here though it looks pretty fine let's see okay i will refresh this page out now it should not show the task record okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pretty fall in love with this UI builder. It's pretty so simple, right? To develop. Now we are on all companies. Okay, so it's showing 178 records. You can see over here. Companies. If I remove all, how many records are there? 178. Okay, perfect. This is working fine. Now if I go to USA company. It will reiterate the list. Now we have 62 records and you can see all the countries are USA. Let's cross verify it. Oh, where is, if I go to show matching. Boom. There are 62 records. We got 62 records over here. Now if I select rest of the world, it will be like 178 minus 62, which will be sorry one it's what 128 i guess let's let's filter out okay i will remove this filter and i will filter out now how many records are there 116 two company is not equal to usa that okay it's just taking company with with some name it has filtered out the empty companies one right and it's valid also okay because we are revolving our, our logic around the company now you can see we have achieved this part completely okay and it's working pretty perfect now what we want to do he suppose if i select any company over here okay it should route me to some other page okay uh, which will show the information for this company okay so let's do that now let's come over here we are done with this page now we want to create this is this is where you can see create a variance okay but variance we will see the next next tutorial right now let's do over here click on this three dots okay and you can see a button called page create page now let's give it a name company details because it will be showing all the company details right 
okay this will be base url plus company dash details perfect now do we need any template we will not select any template let it be like this now over here we will be needing few attributes okay which will be like page required parameters so to get a record information on the form right we need two attributes one is of which table that record is and the second one will be like society of that record right then only we can show the information on the form right so let's go back to this so we will define add required attributes required parameters so this will be a path parameters right so i will be add first i will give table save mm -hmm. now you can see table over here what i do it let's add one more let's call it as you can see it comes like this right it's binding it to the url it's a p so we need record okay let's record id okay save if we can't use underscore over there that's great one more thing i learned okay we can also define some optional parameter which will give uh, optional parameter you can consider that it will give some additional benefits okay you can use if you want okay that it will not be mandatory okay i will do done okay now this is our table okay this is how now you can see here there is a url okay and again but the open button is disabled why is it so because to open this page there are two attributes which are mandatory which is table and record id okay so let's try to give table name okay and record it to attributes okay so the table name will be core company right we are giving just dummy value then we will be dynamically uh, mapping it out okay let's just to show you how it works just to enable the open button for you okay as you will tell ki yeah it was enable on the first side and not on the second side i don't want to take any blames and let's take the society of which company i like let's take some company from france okay chess republic i will to copy this id and i will give that id oh yeah okay now we have given the two required attributes and you can see those got substituted over here now you got the open option enabled right if i click on this again as you have not defined anything it will show no content available perfect again going back to this now also we need layout right so if we click on body we have this layouts now what exactly we want to do we want form in form we will have two things we will be having heading okay ki what exactly this record is and then we will have form right okay so let's see what matches our need so not this 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 this one headers and main content okay so let's connect take this one okay now we have given headers and header and content right so let's start with the header first see if i click on this okay what we are looking for is header right mm. 
so is there anything called header oh we have a record header perfect we need this only and over here we need form right so is there anything like form form i'm just guessing out the names form form fields form template let's go with the simple form itself okay perfect now on the header right let's go to the header one okay now how to get the data for the header so you can go to the database okay you can add your we want form connected right because we want data from that form to this form so it will be like form connected okay then we have glide form okay and then we should have option to add okay add so now what we did we simply defined one glide form attribute okay and now what we'll be doing we'll be passing that value okay from the url to this table to this glide form so that we can get the data we can get the attributes which is needed so when we select this glide form attribute it has when to evaluate this data source so we are in pretty hurry okay people are not seeing my videos till the end so yeah it's like immediately table now table how we want to do it's like if i click on table i will remove this out okay if i click on database if i re okay so it's like at the rate okay now we want to see context now we have given the name as table right so you can see context prop table and the best thing over here is like here on the right side you can see what exactly data we are getting so see as soon as I select the table it changed the value okay so now we got the table now the second attribute is society okay whenever you want to get the data from any of the record and show it on the form we need from which table it belong to and what is the society of that so we have given the table from this url now let's give this society so to give this id again click on database and can we see the record id we have given it as record id right so in record id i have given as soon as give that you can see i got the entire information for that record it's just republic and all that things perfect so ribbon ribbon nahi we don't want okay so this is done okay we have added this configuration i will save it once so that the the progress is not getting gone okay i have added this now going to header again record header now you can see over here we don't have any anything over here right no table no society no primary key blah 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 okay so what we will do i will first give the table you know from where to get the table so it's context dot props table right we got the table now we want sys id you know how to take the sys id it's like where is the record id now we got sys id now the thing is that key we need key how to get the data okay what i want to do i'm uh, what i'm trying to do i want to see if i can get the display value shown as a heading okay so let's do that so it will be like database i'm just trying okay so it should be dite data glide form 1 because it's form 1 if i do dot okay now we have now record common header this seems to be what we want 
if I do dot now what record display value primary key primary item d -d 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 -d. I'm looking for record display value right or primary value I can say if, if it has some primary oh great I got it perfect in the similar way so these are predefined okay in the, so primary values and secondary values are predefined it's like subheading and heading let's see if we have heading also it may happen that for few of the tables the subheadings are not defined okay means which column will come as a subheading let's try it out if we have so we went to data glide form okay dot um, we went to now common record headers okay dot secondary item primary value display t -t 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 subheading value okay yeah so let's see if we have some subheading for the same i don't think if we have the subheading for the same okay so this is fine for now we got the record okay now we are coming to a view okay sorry form now if i come to the form non form also we have the same attributes okay let's select the table now i can do it pretty fast right because i'm quite aware how to do table will come as props.table csid will come as what it will come as record id okay now view okay view is like if i click on it it's like learn more i don't want to go so let's try so on view again i click the database icon it's not showing me anything okay okay now what i will do i will do to again the data glide form one okay in that dot i will go for record form blob blob is like an image we are replicate extracting the image out of of that form right so i will go for that image dot now what exactly we want we want ui policies client script blah 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 no i just want something which i can show right 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 so we got now record blob dot if we can find something oh we have section okay section so i think this should work now we have selected a section now coming to no 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 I did something wrong over here, so let's remove this out. It will be like at the rate database. I don't want section. Section and we want form fields will it come no mm -hmm. what exactly we should give over here it should show something let's let's try to give some more values probably then it will come okay let's let's try one more time okay huh. we don't need form fields dot we need dot t day 
dot something which oh we got detail props because we need details dot we need view oh now i got it okay so this is how we got the view perfect now let's go to the section in section we have to go again we have to show the section also right so in section again it's data glide form one dot this is quite complicated one to memorize all the things right it's like now record form blob dot if we can find something called section section perfect uh-huh now we have added sections also now we let's try to get some fields so there's something came up right company okay so let's do the same mm, glide form one dot again now record blob dot if we can get fields also i don't know field elements is there something called fields 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 Oh, we have fair side perfect now we got the image this was pretty much confusing because there are lots of components out there right so if I save it out I don't want to lose it right let's see how this page will look like okay now we have this company details page right co company let's refresh it out let me see my recording okay Mm, come on it should work oh great so this is working fine now we can see the data over here we can edit it out in future we can put the buttons and all that also for the same but this is perfect okay now we have two pages okay we have two pages home page company page okay now what we want to do we want to drive this page from the home page right this is what we are looking for right so let's go to the home page okay so what basically we have to do we have to just pass this to attributes okay from home page whenever it clicks it should pass this to attributes to table and society and we know once this two attributes once page two gets these two attributes it's working right it should come over here right so let's do that so how to do that okay so for that for this events are used okay so events play a role over here okay he how to give this okay so you can see events you know the events right the event will trigger certain actions right so over here it, the certain action will be the read action right so i will like add a new event handler and now it's asking me key what kind of action you want to take it's like model close that parameter you are blah 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 let's see what so should a screen close confirm no we don't want to close the screen that's for sure so it's like link to destination right this seems to be quite means useful it sounds to be quite useful let's try it out so now we have link to destination let's give it a title okay route to company details okay route to company detail and this let's keep it as is i will add it out mm. 
now is that where I can find that here? If I go to search, what was that? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It should move from list, right? Yeah, my bad. I have just given. So, I will give. Row clicked. Okay, sorry. My bad. I just given from the entire page. That's why it was. So, in events on the list view, it's like what exactly we want to do when scroll what exactly we have to do we act. so right now our intention is like when the row is clicked what exactly we want to do so like add a new event handler okay let's select link to destination okay i will give it a name as um, company details not this time. Details. Okay. Add. Uh, all events are going here. Yeah. I give save. Let's try. That's like. Is there something? No. Company. Hmm. What exactly is going wrong over here? I think I'm doing the only when row is clicked let me remember key what was the We have went over here. We have added a new event. Let's do one th one more time. Select. I'm missing something out. Okay. Come. Company route. Company route. I've selected and oh, I missed to select the destination. So the destination we have to select as it's showing it's like app route or external. If you want to redact it to Google or something, you can select external, okay, Disney something. But now we are looking for another page, okay? And the page is company details, right? So now company details asks for two attributes, okay? So the attributes will come like oh uh, it will come from data binding itself right so i will click 
okay so it will be it will come from the payload itself right so let's click on here let's go with payload and payload dot table okay this will give the table of that particular record in the similar way we will give at the rate i just missed this configuration means where exactly i'm missing okay so payload dot sys id okay it will give the sys id of that record right so now everything is done so i will click okay okay now we have added this out and we will do add okay now let's do the save okay now let's see how it works now basically when we click on any of the record it should route it to the new page right so let's open this page out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fingers crossed it should work let's see first of all let's see the end to end working now we have list menu we have companies which is coming from all companies it's 178 right now which is showing companies from all the countries if i click on us companies it will filter the us companies only and if i click on the rest of the world it will select on show me the rest of the world okay and if i click on any company then it should route me to the another page okay which is the company details page if i click on this it's routing me you can see the details got filled okay core company is the table attribute and society of the record and now you can see the details of that particular company uh, over here you can edit it out and in the coming tutorials you can put that i will try to put the buttons and all that on the same okay so that we will make it more functional so this is how this is so easy and to implement so useful okay to uh, build this kind of pages and to enhance the user experience okay with various with zero coding you can say okay so this is was the introduction session and it will be followed up by new videos i am also learning ui builder so i will be trying to create new new videos on the same okay till then stay safe stay happy okay hope you like this video if you like please like follow subscribe comment with uh, comments are pretty important because this video is also came from suggestion of one of my subscriber that he wants to say this okay so i will try to create tutorials on the topic which you want to master in okay be there in the journey of service now learning let's learn together okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day bye bye